Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the moving average and stochastic oscillator to find profitable trade entries. But before we get into the video I want to announce the release of my ebook which contains a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to become a profitable trader on Quotex using my strategies. So, if you are ready to stop losing money on your trades and become a profitable Quotex trader, use the link in the description to get a copy at a 50% discount. In today's video I will be showing you a new trading strategy with multiple entry point that will help us to convert $150 to $14,113. This strategy works best with stocks on the ODC market, so that's the asset that we will be trading today. For this strategy, I will be making use of the moving average and the stochastic oscillator because these technical tools provide us with valuable insights into market volatility and potential price reversals. For the moving average we would select the EMA. Next we would set the period to 9. For the stochastic oscillator, we would make a few changes to the settings. The K period would be set to 21. The D period would be set to 7. The smoothing period would be set to 7. The overbought level would be set to 100. The oversold level would be set to 10 and the moving average would be set to EMA. The trade expiry would also be set to 15 seconds. The chart time frame would be set to 15 seconds as because this allows us to capture quick profit opportunities. Watch this video till the end and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. For our first trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is above the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary downward market movement. For the second condition, when a third green candle forms above the moving average, this occurrence confirms a bearish momentum, here, we would enter a put options position. We made a profit of $168.30. Now, let's move on to our next trade. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line and D-line of the stochastic oscillator are horizontal and both are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary downward market movement. For the second condition, when a red candle forms and extends below the moving average, this occurrence confirms a bearish momentum, here, we would enter a put options position. Thank you. 
We made a profit of $336.60. Now, let's move on to our next trade. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are in between the overbought and oversold level, this indicates a temporary downward market movement. For the second condition, when a red candle forms and extends below the moving average, this occurrence confirms a bearish momentum, here, we would enter a put options position. We made a profit of $336.60. Now, let's move on to our next trade. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are slightly above the oversold level, this indicates a temporary upward market movement. For the second condition, when a green candle forms below the moving average and closes above it, this occurrence confirms a bullish momentum, here, we would enter a call options position. We made a profit of $1,870. Now, let's move on to our next trade. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are above the oversold level, this indicates a temporary uptrend in the market. For the second condition, when a green candle forms below the moving average and closes above it, this occurrence signals a bullish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a call options position. We made a profit of $935. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary downtrend in the market. For the second condition, when a red candle closes below the moving average, this occurrence signals a bearish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a put options position. We have made consistent successful trades with this strategy. If you want to stop losing money and become a profitable binary options trader use the link in the description below to get a copy of my ebook. We made a profit of $935. Now, let's move on to our next trade. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are slightly above the oversold level, this indicates a temporary downtrend in the market. For the second condition, when a second red candle forms below the moving average, 
This occurrence signals a bearish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a put options position. We made a profit of $1,496. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is above the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary downtrend in the market. For the second condition, when a red candle closes on the moving average, this occurrence signals a bearish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a put options position. We made a profit of $3,366. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is below the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both lines are moving towards the oversold level, this indicates a temporary downtrend in the market. To confirm our entry point, when a second red candle closes below the moving average, this occurrence signals a bearish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a put options position. We made a profit of $3,366. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is above the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both lines are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary uptrend in the market. To confirm our entry point, when a third green candle closes above the moving average, this occurrence signals a bullish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a call options position. We made a profit of $5,049. For our next trade, two conditions have to be met. Firstly, when the K-line is above the D-line of the stochastic oscillator and both lines are below the overbought level, this indicates a temporary uptrend in the market. To confirm our entry point, when a second green candle forms above the moving average, this occurrence signals a bullish market condition, this is confirmation for entering a call options position. We made a profit of $13,090. Today, we managed to turn $150 to $14,113 using my moving average and stochastic oscillator strategy.
And as always, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and turn on notifications so you can stay updated. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.